Are you a dreamer, a sunset chaser, a lover of nature and all things beautiful? Well, I've got a video for you. Hang with me and let's uncover some of my favorite places to catch the sunrise and sunset in Vero and the surrounding area. My name is Rachel Carroll and I run a real estate team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of beautiful Florida. I love this area and the natural beauty. It's what brought me here over 10 years ago and what keeps me here in awe most days. If you're interested in moving into the area and you need to speak with somebody to help you, all of our contact information is in the description below. So when it comes to Florida sunrises and sunsets, wow. I've seen my fair share and I can tell you that not every uh, is a stunner, but there are times throughout the year when you can catch a glimpse of God's glory in the sky. No joke, it opens up in colors of purple and orange mixed with pink and it's just breathtaking. I'm more of a night owl than a morning person, so my preference is catching the sunset, but once in a while I'll peel myself out of bed early enough to travel to the beach and watch the sun come up over the ocean, and it is always such a treat. Let's hop right into it. Here are my favorite places to watch the sunrise here in Vero Beach and the nearby area. The first is the Riamar Beach Access. I like it here because it's very small and secluded, and at sunrise there usually isn't anyone around. It's like your own private island with your own private beach. Then you can drive less than a mile up the road and grab breakfast on Ocean Drive. My favorite place is Lemon Tree. Let's be honest, anywhere on the beach is a spectacular spot to watch the sunrise. But I'm being selective here for you because I live here and because I can be. The other place I love to see the sunrise is down in Fort Pierce on the jetty, right off of the end of Seaway Drive there. They have a really built up, the parking lot area right there in recent years is quite nice with facilities. And something about being out on that jetty sticking out in the middle of the water while the sun comes up is really cool. I grew up coming down every summer to that stretch of beach that contacts the jetty just on the south side, watching the sunrise with my grandpa who really was the only other person willing to get up that early with me. Um, it's just a nice memory that I have. There's a great bakery in Portico's um, or one of my other favorite breakfast spots, Captain's Galley, which is like right within a five minute drive, honestly a five minute walk from downtown Fort Pierce. You can grab breakfast there too after you watch the sun rise. The last place I like to watch the sun come up is over the Indian River at the park in the middle of Vero Isles at the end of Park Avenue. Like its official name is Young's Park. It's a grassy park with pavilions and a handful of parking spots. Um, there's like this concrete seawall that makes up the peninsula um, that that park sits on and it's surrounded on the north and south side by some really nice waterfront homes. And on the east, and, uh, on the east is the wide open river um, looking over the Indian River Lagoon. It's really cool to watch the sun come up over the island that in like the reflection that comes across the water there. Now, you do have to be careful if you visit there um, because there's no fence around the edge. So it's literally grass up to sidewalk down to the river. And visually, it makes it so beautiful, really visually stunning, safety-wise, a little sketchy. So just be aware of your surroundings if you do go up to the water's edge there. So let's switch gears for a moment. My favorite place to catch the sunset is in Riverside Park in Vero Beach along the riverside for the same reason, the reflection off the water. You just have to be careful of the bugs because they like to come out at dusk and if you're not prepared, they will eat you up uh, along the water's edge. It's pretty bad. So bring your bug spray and you'll be fine. There are some really nice spots that sit and look out over the water along Riverside Park um, on the Barrier Island in Vero Beach. Just long river views. It's really beautiful. If you're able to catch the sunset on the water of the Indian River Lagoon, you should take the opportunity to do so. Some of the be most beautiful sunsets that I've seen are right there. So in summary, I love this beautiful place. Um, if you're looking to move here or visit, I hope you take the opportunity to witness the sunrise and the sunset. And I hope that you get lucky and you get one of those colorful shows. Florida is so flat, so you really get to see so much of the sky. And when it lights up in those colors, it's spectacular. And while you're here, go check out my other videos on this channel. 
feel free to leave me a comment. Um, the more you share, the more everyone benefits. And if you need help or assistance, you can always call us. Calling us doesn't obligate you to work with us or buy a house, but it does start you in the right direction. So don't be shy, feel free, give us a call. And go click that subscribe button before you forget.